This is Matthew Cratter from Trader University, and today I want to talk about Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, his business partner, and Bitcoin and their views on Bitcoin. I've been getting a lot of questions about it in light of this recent interview with Charlie Munger. People have been asking me for my comments. Whenever I hear Munger or Buffett talk about Bitcoin or tech, I always think of this meme, old man yelling at a cloud. And I feel very much that this is how Munger and Buffett behave regarding Bitcoin. They haven't done their research. Uh, they're very both really smart guys, obviously. They're both billionaires, and I'm not, so obviously what do I know? But the problem is, if you've listened to them over the past 10 or 20 years, you've really made a lot less money than you could have. This is the key quote from Munger's most recent interview on Bitcoin. So I don't think Bitcoin is going to end up as a medium of exchange for the world. I don't either. Uh, we've been talking about Bitcoin as it will be the, the ultimate reserve asset, the ultimate, ultimate store value and balance sheet asset. And whether it becomes a medium of exchange or not doesn't matter as much. Gold has obviously been a great store of value for the last 5,000 years, and it does not function as a medium of exchange anymore. You don't go to the supermarket and use it, use gold to buy groceries. Anyway, Munger comes up with all these old, tired uh, critiques of Bitcoin and you can tell that he hasn't really done his research. It's too volatile. We've heard all this. Uh, but what's interesting in this interview, he says, it's really kind of an artificial substitute for gold. And since I never buy any gold, I never buy any Bitcoin. If you want to learn more about Bitcoin and its volatility and what I think about that, I will link to this video below. Now, Munger has been, been comparing Bitcoin to uh, to gold and calling it worthless. For the last few years, he did it when Bitcoin was back at four or 5,000 in 2018. The problem with comparing Bitcoin to gold and critiquing it if you're Buffett or Munger is that gold has been outperforming, <clears throat> excuse me, has been outperforming even Berkshire Hathaway, which is their company, for the past 20 years. Gold up 562%. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway up 433%. So this is, uh, I think Munger should be a little more careful about comparing the performance to gold. You could basically own a gold bar under your bed and it did better than these two old uh, supposed investing geniuses. Likewise, I don't know why anyone would want to listen to Warren Buffett or Charlie Munger when it comes to new technology. They've been underperforming tech stocks really for the last uh, call it last 11 or 12 years. The NASDAQ, the QQQ is up almost 480%. Berkshire Hathaway up a little more than 200%. Buffett himself finally got an iPhone in early 2020. He was obviously smart enough to invest in Apple a few years before that. But this is really the tech literacy of these guys. They missed out on the entire tech boom of the last 20 years. Obviously, they've made good money in Apple and Amazon, but you can imagine what they would have done if they didn't have all their capital tied up in the banks, uh, in oil companies, and in other really old economy dying brands. The biggest tech stock that Buffett bet on for most of the 2010s was really IBM, which ended up being a complete disaster. So when he says he doesn't know about investing in tech, I think we should take him at his word. Amazon, Apple were almost certainly uh, picks of his lieutenants, his younger lieutenants, who he's, he's uh, um, been grooming to take over after he and Munger are no longer in charge. If you're finding this video helpful, and, and if you want to learn more about why I think value investing is dead, I really go into it in depth in this video. Uh, and I'd also ask you, if you're enjoying this video, to hit that subscribe and hit that like button. Back in 2018, uh, Buffett, I'm sorry, Munger said that uh, he compared trading Bitcoin or investing in Bitcoin to trading freshly harvested baby brains. He says, you wouldn't trade them. You wouldn't trade them, would you? It's too awful a concept. To me, Bitcoin is almost as bad. This is a sure sign that someone is not thinking clearly. Obviously, Munger's known for his colorful analogies, but to compare Bitcoin to trading baby baby brains uh, is really quite unbelievable, especially given Buffett and Munger's history 
of investing in companies that are actually really bad for the world. Coca-Cola, objectively, over the last 40 years, has probably caused more health problems around the world than any other company. They sell highly addictive, uh, highly addictive drinks that are full of uh, full of fructose, and it's you don't need to Google much to find all these stories about, especially uh, um, countries, uh, developing countries suffering from uh, from Coca-Cola and the diabetes that it brings with all of the uh, the high sugar content. And it's it's even more sinister than that. Munger has a, fav- a famous uh, speech where he talks about how to create a highly addictive substance, a highly addictive drink, and then market it to the whole world in the place of water. And you add salt to it to make people uh, more thirsty. You create all these nice uh, brand images, you know, Santa Claus drinking Coca-Cola. You can, re- I'll link to this, uh, the speech, this Munger speech, but he basically goes back and sort of tries to deconstruct the rise of Coca-Cola and what they did that was smart. So when he compares Bitcoin to baby brains, I think uh, actually dealing in Coca-Cola, nothing against it. I used I used to drink it. Uh, but if you want to talk about net negatives for the world, for global health, uh, Bitcoin would not be the one that's closest to trading baby brains. It would actually <clears throat> be many, many of Munger and Buffett's investments. They love investing in addictive snacks and in addictive uh, products like uh, like Coca-Cola. In addition, we can see why Buffett and Munger hate Bitcoin. They are very much beneficiaries of the current fiat financial system, and they made most of their money in the wake of the U.S. leaving the gold standard. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway and Buffett are beneficiaries of big government bailouts, especially over the 2008 to 2010 timeframe. And they've really been beneficiaries of all the money printing, the QE that was behind those bank bailouts in particular. If Buffett ends up buying into your company, uh, as he did with Apple and Amazon, that's really a sure sign that your company has probably become a somewhat evil monopoly. And uh, Buffett obviously likes investing in investments that have a good moat that can protect themselves. And there's nothing, there's no moat deeper than uh, various tech oligopolies that have been allowed to grow bigger and stronger than most world governments. And so I would suggest that this is one of the main reasons he invested in Apple and Amazon, not because he likes the tech, but because Buffett is your classic monopolist. Here's the growth of the uh, the money stock, the M2 money supply over Buffett's investing career. You could have invested in gold. You could have invested in anything, any really hard asset or cash producing asset like a stock and done really well, especially as interest rates have fallen from, uh, call it 20% short-term interest rates down to 0%. We talked about um, Buffett. Uh, I always think of his middle name as being bailout. He was invested in all these banks uh, going into the great financial crisis, and then he ended up uh, being a beneficiary of it as he uh, as he pushed the the Fed and the Treasury to bail out Wells Fargo, Goldman Sachs, and many of these companies that he then was able to invest in. He got warrants in, in uh, which are a form of options in Goldman Sachs, and he really made a fortune uh, both ways. He made a fortune on Moody's, for example, which was raiding all these junk subprime mortgages as AAA. And um, so he made money in the housing crisis, the housing bubble going into the crisis, and then he made money on the bailout as well. He has a history of investing in companies like Wells Fargo, uh, Bank of America, which obviously treat their customers extremely badly. Wells Fargo has had one scandal after another over the past 10 years, especially creating uh, fake customer accounts. It looks like Berkshire finally exited, but they're still large shareholders in Bank of America, which is another terrible, poorly run bank with terrible customer, uh, terrible customer service. So I think that when you when you think about Buffett and Munger and their take on Bitcoin, you have to see it in this context. When they call Bitcoin rat poison or rat poison squared, they are talking about it as a threat to the current financial system. So there may there may even be something more sinister about this. They may hit they may hate Bitcoin because they actually understand it rather than just being old and not understanding uh, not understanding 
tech. I, uh, I just wish they had a little bit more humility. It's obviously, uh, they've obviously both had great investing careers and they're very smart, but they've, I think they've outlived their understanding of the present and they especially have failed to comprehend the magnitude of what technology has done in the world over the last 20 years, how software has revolutionized the world and how Bitcoin, which is really money as a form of software, how it is revolutionizing the world. So when you see, uh, when you see old guys uh, like Peter Schiff or Munger or Buffett or any of these people bad-mouthing Bitcoin, I think it's important really to understand their context in the fiat financial system, as well as the threat that, that Bitcoin poses to many of their current portfolio companies. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.